and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, Brad, you talked me into it. Today we're going to talk about the best seven arm, shoulder, and core strengthening exercises seated without dumbbells. Uh, so you can do it in either a wheelchair or a chair. Right. So we're going to go in over this. Uh, dumbbells really don't do the job. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Right. This is, system is much more convenient. It does a better job of getting all the, all the, muscle all the muscles we just mentioned. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take mm -hmm. a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we we'll upload every day. Also, join us on our social media channels, our website, bobandbrad.com. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I lost the breath, Brad. <laughs> I need to use the breather. Uh, we're always giving something away. If you go to the giveaway section, uh, uh -huh. right now on Saturday, it's a transition. We're going from last week to this week. So, so you'll have to wait till tomorrow night. You'll have to wait till Sunday night. It's but 9 o'clock, it yeah. It'll be something really cool. Yeah. Oh, well, it always I think is. We're, I, I think we're giving away a massager. A massage oh, gun. really? Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. Uh, you can also find it. It'll be pinned to the top of the page on Bob mm -hmm. and Brad for Facebook. Facebook. Want a short version of us? Go to Twitter. Instagram, or the new one is TikTok. 60 seconds of Bob and Brad a day. And that's all you can take sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, actually, this video came to my mind because these same exercises, we have therapists in our clinic using them and just saying how well they work for people in a wheelchair. Yes. And it's true. So and I see comments that people, you know, mention, could you show us some exercise for people in a chair or a wheelchair? And the thing with dumbbells, you know, you, you can take dumbbells and their weight and they do work, but if you're in a chair, they seem to clunk into your legs. They clunk into the armrests. Uh, and you only have, you know. You can only go against gravity. Right. So you're only going one direction. Yeah. This option, we have three directions, you can't, actually. I mean, you, you can do triceps this way. But if you do triceps this way, it's not working triceps. You can't work your lats. Right. You can't work your core to any large extent. Right. Either. Yeah. This uh, option is superior. Uh, and that's why we're excited about it to show you. So shall we carry on? Yeah. Should we finally we're going to use, it? <laughs> yeah, this wheelchair is actually a transport chair. So it has the four small wheels. Uh, the only difference that makes, it's a little harder to, to move. Bob's going to help me. Um, uh, we do you like to re recommend you, you, you need some way to attach the bands to the wall. Right. So we like the wall anchor. We a absolutely created it, so we... Well, I we did because there's nothing else like it. And it works right. really well. So, and you got to get some bands along with it. So, uh, some of the exercise bands with handles are really nice. And you can just flip it like that. You can start off. Okay. So here I am. Now, it's critical. If you want to involve the core strengthening aspect, all you need to do is get your body away from the backrest and with good tall posture, do all the exercises, and that's going to force your core muscles to work. Uh, you know, if you're at the point where your, your core strength is not strong enough, it's okay. You can do these leaning up against the backrest. You're still going to get the core a little bit because right. you're forcing your, you're holding your body up against exactly. the Exactly. So I'm going to work biceps to start with. We got three exercises facing the wall. So, and repetitions, we like to say 10, you know, if you want to go up to 15, that's fine. Um, and the resistance, if it's not strong enough, you get a different strength band. This is red. You could go up to the green or the black is typically the strongest for most. Or you can hook up several bands at the same time. And that's what the wall anchor works nice for right. that because you can. I've had up to four bands on there at once. Sure. Well, wow. Well, wow, Bob, well, I was uh, getting uh, pumped up. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, biceps. Okay, now the next one, you can do pulls, and you can do them from this level or that level. I'll, I'll demonstrate it here. Pulls, you're going to do 10 that way, and you could do flies at this level. Biceps, for sure, works better from the lower level. Bob, you want to move it to yep. the top? Um, there you go. As simple as that. Again, we could do biceps here. It's a little awkward at this level. The pulls work good. And you can do pulls going down Pull this down. way. Yeah, nice way for posture yeah. and core. Look at my chest. Yeah. I extend it out. We're not just using arms. We're using the whole core and body and getting everything involved. And again, the flies. Two different levels. Okay. Should we carry on, Bob? Yes. Now we're going to go ahead and twist the chair. Turn it. 90 degree turn. And... 
Now this, I'm only gonna show it in one direction, but you wanna do it obviously facing uh, to the left and as well as to the right. And here, this is a nice core exercise. You can go like this with both hands and simply do oscillations. And if you can hold this for 30 seconds continuous, I, believe me, if you got the right resistance, you're gonna have a good fatigue in your core. And it's helping the arms and the shoulders as well. You can also incorporate more range of motion with this and do a pull like this. And do now, we see one particular patient here that's doing this one all the time. Yeah, it's, it's really yeah. working his core really yeah, well. He really likes it. He likes this one, yeah. Okay, you're talking about Dennis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we can't mention his name. <laughs> Okay, uh, and then that'll take care of that, again, both sides, and then we're gonna go okay. facing away from the wall. So that four exercises for, so far. And then, now this is a nice thing about the anchor, and I think you'll agree, Bob, is I'm gonna keep my back away, and I'm gonna work strictly triceps. Triceps, yep. And work those triceps. So I'm not doing this, I'm keeping my elbows stationary if possible. So we isolate those triceps. Yeah, the upper arm is kind of a, in a horizontal manner here. And, yep. and uh, all the movement's coming from the elbow, forearm, and wrist there. And remember to breathe good with all these exercises so that uh, makes a big difference on your endurance. Okay, now horizontal pushes are it's just the same thing as a push-up, really, but you're doing that vertical push-up motion here like this. And then we're going to go to flies. and you know, go back not too far. You don't want to stretch those shoulders to end range and pull any muscles in the shoulders or in that capsule in the shoulder joint. So just go back until you feel a gentle stretch up until your hands come about four inches apart and do 10 of those. Now, Bob, you could go to the upper. Yes, you could. Yeah. And this is kind of nice because it works different fibers. Tell me when you're on. We're on. All right. So now I'm just going to go down. Now he's really getting the lats. The yep. latissimus dorsi. Yep. So and lower fibers are the, and you can do the triceps from here. And it's, it's it's wonderful to get these different uh, angles in there, and that's a big advantage. Like we said, over the dumbbells, you only have. Uh, you got it, Bob. Yep. Okay. There we go. By the way, I do have to mention this, Brad. This shows you right here too. We've got to put a little plug in for our hanging handles here. Sure. So these handles are really great for shoulder problems. We've mentioned this in many videos where you can hang yep. and, and put uh, st stretch on your, I'd have them up a little higher for me, I think. Right. But uh, you can also get decompression on your back. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, you can go ahead and still work out with these. You can put the bands up right. there. And you don't, and, it's not changing anything. Right. And you can actually use these handles to, to hook up the bands too. Sure. So absolutely. They're just kind of multi purpose. I wanted to put a little plug in there. I hope that's okay. <laughs> ah, it's our show, Bob. We yeah, can we can do, do whatever, whatever we want. want. Uh, <laughs> remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There we go. But we'll work on it. Good luck on your you exercises. Can count on us.